OK, on three. Hello, and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman, and today we're continuing our uh, path into Canestia, continuing our exploration of Canestia um, into Ermex Para. It'd be Paradise? I can't imagine what else it would be. And I don't even have... Look how look how unprepared I am. I don't have the map up. Okay, uh so there's there's our there's my map, such as it is. I've figured out how big the place is and put out soft boundaries. Okay, uh so here we are back. With the audio fixed, I don't know how much of that scrambling and fumbling I'm gonna keep. Um but let's start out with Drawing some map. So I know there's a door to the north. Uh, two on. And then a wall and then a door. And the auto map is showing me a little more than that. It's kind of cheating on my behalf by telling me there's a dead end in a door. And then I get the same shape on the other side. But I'm going to start out heading east. Oh, and I have a little note. A fresh breeze... I already read this, but... A fresh breeze comes from the open portal above. So I guess I could take away from that that there's probably another way out of here, or else it wouldn't have a breeze. So let's go find that other way out, should it exist. Oh, look at that little portal there. How cute. Uh, to the north we have Odd. To the south we have Odd. I don't really know how far north is. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I mean, I don't know how... whatever. My, my point is I don't know how big this dungeon is from south to north. You get a rough estimate, but not good enough to want to put down symbols. And we have another odd to the north. And another... have something that looks... Oh, damn it. Somehow I ended up on Dungeon Side A. Okay. Dungeon Side B. Let's load our save game again. Okay, here we've loaded our save game again. <laughs> That was a very curious data corruption effect. I wonder what it was loading. Um, an image? A fight? I don't really know. Odd and a spinner. And to the east there's a spinner, which I can first detect from this location. So it's one, two, three in the corner. I'm really not looking forward to this, like, wall of odd spaces. Not at all. Because, I don't know, it's gonna mess up my ability to detect things, and that makes mapping more tedious, and... I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. So even standing on the spinner, there's another spinner in front. So over here, there's probably a spinner. I'm going to bet it's in the other corner. And let's check to the west. Oh, we do detect the odds. So my simple guess that they were right against the edge, 
may be accurate. Maybe. A carbon ripper. This is not new and not threatening, but there's only one of them. Maybe I'll get a new item. Bard songs aren't stronger yet. Still 12 points. A Thieves' Dart, which I've decided is not worth bothering with. Uh, black Arrows, which I haven't even tested yet. I said I would test them. I didn't test them. Oh wait, was that a, was that a tell? Yeah, no odd here. Yes, odd here. So when we stepped forward... say that one, two, three, odd starts here, which kind of matches what we're believing is happening over here. Door, wall, door, wall. I think that's what I'm getting. And, okay, to immediate west, more odd, so maybe there's a whole field of them? I don't know. I mean, how appropriate. A field of them when I've chosen flowers as the representational icon. Yeah, it seems like odd everywhere. Maybe I should just accept it? Say I'm not gonna have very good quality. Um, the sorcerer's site on this level? North, I can see one more door. This feels like it's going to be some sort of ring of doors around, like almost like a castle formation. Let's try going in one of these. Oh, an explosion. We can still detect odd. So we haven't stepped on it yet. And that was, that was all that was. Uh, to the east, we could detect a trap from even inside here. So one, two, or three, probably there. Odds everywhere. An explosion. Silence up ahead somewhere. Oh my goodness, the power just dipped in a significant way. To the point where my Mac said, Oh, I've just been plugged in. And I'm gonna assume the trap's there too. Oh. Odd to the west, odd to the east. Oh, and I'm on a stuck square. That is, I think, my least favorite type of special um, uh, I don't know, whatever thing to encounter in this game. Because it doesn't, there's no, there's no, like, mapping challenge, there's no it doesn't do anything to our party, it just wastes my time. An explosion. I feel like I'm being trolled here. Like, uh, there's gonna be an endless number of these things, and... 
they're all going to have an explosion in them, and I'm just going to be throwing away my hit points for no real reason at all. Okay, that's, that's not the same stuck. It's a new stuck. Odd. This time there's nothing to the west. No special thing to detect. Though still a trap to the east. Uh, but still an explosion. You can see my excitement for mapping the explosions has fallen off. I forgot to put one there. How far from the north edge are we? Uh, pretty close. Uh, the auto map can see it. I don't know that I can see it. Because I think I can only see this far, but the auto map can see this far. Sort of entertaining that it lines up on this line, although not meaningful. It allows me to guess that this is the northwest corner. More stuck. Explosions. And more traps. Okay, so. Madoop. We can detect the spinner all the way at the south edge of the map. I think that's the first interesting thing I've seen in a little while, or the first thing that's not odd or not already known. There's so something to the west and a something to the east. To the east and west from here, I don't actually detect anything. I don't know why the auto maps give me one extra vision. It sort of made sense to me somehow when it was a dead end. I was like, well, maybe it's special cases, uh, transverse walls. I don't, I don't know. But now I'm just baffled. I may have forgotten a stuck at some point in this corridor, but you know, it is not essential. This time I didn't get an explosion, I just got straight up hit point drain. It's different. So that's a plus. This one maybe has nothing going on. It's just a cubby hole. No explosions, no hit point drain, no spell point drain. I feel like I'm being rewarded somehow by having nothing happen. I guess that's that's the uh, beauty of setting the bar low. Oh, another stuck. Just what I just what I was hoping for. I was saying, Lord, please send me a stuck square. Uh, something ahead. in all three doors. Spinner. Is 
something ahead. Let me go through the first door. Door number three, I guess, from right to left, or left to right, whatever. Uh, I'll be back after they kill these things. Okay, and that thing is finally dead. That took way too long. It resisted maybe seven or eight melee men pull-in attempts. Oh well. <clears throat> Enough complaining. Standing in a hit point drain for sure. That room was, uh, the excitement of having your hit points drained. How about this one? Ooh, this is like, a way to the inside. I think that's three away. It's definitely not four away. Definitely not two away. Now, I thought I could see a spinner down here. And I can no longer detect some things, so I have stepped on an odd square. I guess the whole middle is going to have no detection. I'm going to run. It's just not enough of them for me to bother. This is also hit point drain. I guess I'm gonna just go around the outside. I meant to use the pipes of pan and I got confused and Replayed my bard song. I assume that the something to the west is going to be turned turn to, out to be another hit point drain. I have a stuck here, and a stuck here. Yep. Okay, so whatever, when we detected a something on the wraparound, it was in fact the hit point drain spot, not, not anything in the corner. So looking at the uh, initial door here on this hallway, I'm thinking that there's a door into every one of those traps. Like... Like this. Because it would be in parallel with the other side. Okay, well I'm gonna do this map... Well, I'm gonna, am I gonna fight these? I don't wanna fight these. Two enemies? I don't wanna bother. I guess I'll... Fill in the map later. Why did I just walk through that into that trap? I don't know. I know where they are. Rest. There's no... There's 
no need to walk into all of them. Uh, I'm trying to move my avatar, not the cursor. Well, now, that's a feature I don't ever want to use ever for any program ever. Okay. Stuck. I can't type. I can't type. I can't. I can't type. Really. Uh, do you know about keystrokes? You do. But you don't want me to type. I'll be right back. Okay, somehow, somehow I managed to make it become um, not keyboard stuck anymore. I don't actually know what I did. I turned things on and off and pressed buttons. Maybe it was feeling envious of my game where every, I was getting stuck everywhere and it wanted to join in. It's a possibility. Another, another stuck. Oh, and another stuck. Stucks every. They're probably stucks between every single doorway. I just got lucky sometimes. Facing west, I could sense the spinner. Okay, so that means the spinner is here. Alright, facing west. I can't detect anything. Even here. Okay, so that means the silent zone is where I thought it was. Yep, where I thought it was. That's not so exciting as compared to actually figuring out where something is. fight one freezer. That is not efficient. So facing east from here, from the hallway, we can detect a spinner. I don't actually know whether it's here or here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the hallway that I was... Uh, being lazy about earlier. Oh my goodness. There's some kids going on at length in my neighbor's backyard very insistently lecturing someone. It's distracting. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to kill all these, and when I'm done, I'll be back. Oh, this is where I get to talk again. Um, so I will say that this is probably one of those levels where it feels like you're not making any progress at all until, um, until you get to some point where you make a whole lot of progress at once. And I will kill these and be right back. So one thing I definitely have to do is get a better audio setup. Because these this headset I have like records you know picks up a lot of the sound 
just fine, and that's that's great. But it also picks up a lot of breath noise, which is mostly due to the positioning, um, which is very hard to adjust given the design. And it creaks, um, so when I move slightly, like shrug or uh, I don't. Let me finish talking. Um, or or tilt my head. It it just adjusts ever so slightly, and the um, the plastic hinges make a creaking sound, and it's so distracting. No, there's not enough of you for me to care. I should have fought the earlier group. I just wanted to finish my sentence. Um, I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> so here's the funny thing. There's a door directly in front of where we start the level, and I didn't manage to map it. Oh well. Looks like we have a fight incoming. I'll kill these. My new frustration with um all of the audio stuff. Um the quality stripping out of extraneous noises, all of that. Uh, my new frustration is I found I realized Audacity had good tools for cleaning up audio. Um which is great. And then I realized Camtasia will not export the audio in some original format. It will decode it to wave or it will give it an MP, M, you know, M4, MP4 audio or some other lossy format. So just to fix up the audio, I end up with a gig of junk around lying on the disc. So I don't remember what I was talking about before that fight started because it's so long, but maybe I was talking about the audio. Basically the real fix for the audio is to improve my microphone setup. It's just, that's going to take a little time to order things and figure out how to set them up. Where will not, where will be reasonable in my apartment? Anyway, um, where's that flower? Because there's definitely not an odd in here, but there are odds somewhere up there. Probably not there either. Sure enough, there's a little cubby here. Uh, with a mech master. Let's just advance. Advance. And kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. It is dead. Okay, so the only way into this place is through the north. Here's our overview. Uh, I'm probably missing some of these stuck spots, and when I when I as I make my way back up there, I'll probably find some more. I'm not gonna update my spot on the map, sorry. Um, but I'm going up the east side. One, two, one, two. That is not. Why did I say one, two, one, two? I mean, I know I meant this stuck spot, so that one's not new. And there should be one there, but I got through it. Oh, actually, it was I had miscounted? Whatever. I was actually stuck in this one, but it means I didn't find any new ones. Oh no, I just did. Just did. There was one right there. Stuck. Now I'm standing on one. Yep. That one I already know. That one I didn't know about. That's right here. Let me... What? Okay. I'm here-ish now. I want to go in the center of the three doors. Yes. 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 Okay, now I'm definitely... 
standing on an odd because all my detection is disabled. And I guess I shouldn't worry about it too much. Um, mostly what I've been detecting in here are spinners and odd. And odd seems omnipresent. I'm not going to be able to get rid of it. And spinners don't affect me, so whatever. Okay, killing these, be right back. Okay, I think we're back. And I think this is the point where I, when I first played through this, I really gave up on marking everything. Because, you know, I could recast Sorcerer's Sight on every single square, but I, I'm, I'm just not gonna. <laughs> I am not going to. But I will cast it here, because we're facing into something... Ooh. Who, 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 who knows that spell? What, what number did I press? But no, nothing interesting turned up. Um, so I moved up here. Let's zoom in. And let's move the map back to where we were. So this is like this plus-like shape forming, or being, not forming, but, you know, I am discovering bit by bit. Look how low my hit points are. I don't know if I missed a drain. I think it was just, I took damage in combat. This area is starting to make me think... Well, first I'll kill these. I'll be right back. Oh, so these, um, the shape. Oh, I, 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 I used some arrows in combat and they were resisted. So, like, I didn't really learn anything about what they do. And then I tried them again and they were resisted. So, I guess one takeaway is they can be resisted. Uh, so that makes me think that I'm not going to bother with them. So maybe I should clean them out where I can find them. Nineteen. That seems somehow more worth it. Like, I don't know, I'm somehow like thinking, oh, nineteen. Nineteen's got to be good, even though they're probably not good. But I'm handing them over anyway. Moved here, moved here, gone here. Let's go south to where I just moved the avatar on the map. If I could face the right way. Um, oh, I can sort of see things. Um, down here, there's a door and a wall. I guess that's all I really can see that I didn't already know about. Is there any puzzle left? I don't... I guess there was a weird message at the end of that poem. Uh, I've rebooted since then. Open... Open recent. Oh, it doesn't know about those. Okay, well, whatever. Edit. Uh, notes. Games. Quests. So... Yes, so I guess the last message was, In the opposition, you ward the lair of my foolish death. So we didn't really use this information, except for that, I guess, I did this one and then this one, and they are in opposition. Um, I don't know if that's going to have any bearing on what we can see here. Oops, I moved forward. That actually makes it easier to map. Because at this point I can tell this door is here. And there 
walls here and here. And I went north and south, and as I was facing south, I can see these walls. Maybe there's nothing particularly puzzly going on. Maybe there's just these roomlets that are shaped like pluses that I can go into. Oh, I actually don't... I don't know any of those. I'm assuming the plus finishes, but I, I don't, can't actually see it right now. Am I getting spell point drained? I think I am. Totally am. This is such a cruel space to do this to me. Because, um, you know, if you want to explore it, you have to turn around a bunch of times. Uh, Mark. Bum, bum, bum. I went here, then I went here, then of course here, <laughs> then here. So cruel. Uh, I'm going to kill them, I'll be right back. Uh, I don't remember where the Major's Cloak is that not very useful item I found before. Oh, and I'm still getting my spell points drained, of course. And here too. It's a little plus. Plus of spell point drains. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing... Oh, Sorcerer's Sight, of course, which is futile. Futile in this location. Uh, I'll go in this middle one. What's happening to me here? Nothing evil so far. I'm going to speed it up. Does anything good happen? Anything good? Uh, it seems like no pluses or minuses. That I can tell so far. Oop, I didn't actually go there. I went over here. Through... This space. Um... I'm getting impatient, which means I probably should be stopping the episode. Uh... I've maybe done enough of this nonsense for today. Wait, oh, I got turned around. So, going north... We have more things to kill. Okay. I just actually <laughs> hit that in warp mode. I was like, cast the spells and put it in fast forward. Shrill flute I don't need. I don't remember what it does, but I decided it was not that important. Not that important! I will drop the Mage's Cloak, too, which I think is inferior armor to my braces with a... I think it does something nice, like Batch Spell, but I still don't want to use a inventory slot on something that I can do anyway when I have plenty of spell points. There's encounters everywhere in this space. Okay, so here's the overall progress we have. A Hunter's Cloak, more things I can't use, and a Thieves' Dart. Okay, I'll drop those. So here's our overall progress. We've gone around the outside. We've started to map the inside. There are... strange little plus formations... Um, in, in this interior space. But I don't know what to make of them. Because... I don't know, this one seems to be all monster spawning squares. That one was all um, spell point rain. Is there going to be like a puzzle? I don't know. See you next time when we complete mapping Ermex Paraglider. See you then.